um, all protocols duly observed. Um, this presentation will give us an insight into the Auto Aid National Research Hub. Can I have the presentation? So the National Research Hub has been created to offer support and is going to be a platform for exchange of ideas, exchange of knowledge, exchange of experience for researchers across various disciplines in Nigeria. And this will further strengthen auto aid in Nigeria. Members of the research hub can collaborate. The next slide. Members of the research hub can collaborate to apply for grants, international grants, proposals, and also uh, national grant proposals. The National Auto Aid Research Hub Initiative will serve as a platform for knowledge transfer and identification of focal areas to create impactful collaborative research. So we will not just be doing research for the sake of doing research, impactful research, and also strengthening research capacity of members. Impactful research that will be able to influence policy decisions. We have an expert, Dr. Eukarya is an expert in the area of evidence-based research. Uh, for policymakers, so we'll be having a lot of capacity building workshops and webinars in that area. So we are not just doing research for the shelf, we are doing research that will impact the society. And like I said, the hub will enhance possibilities for collaborations. We already know we have different institutions already on board. We are open to more uh, institutions to join. So there's the opportunity for uh, collaboration for members to build their expertise and also extending the scope of current research in the institution. So the research hub is open to researchers in Nigeria for Nigerian researchers. And like Andy Nob said, there's also a Ghana hub. There's also a hub in Nepal. And majority of the beneficiaries of the auto aid uh, resources are from Nigeria. So that was why they thought that it would be best to have a hub specifically for Nigerian researchers. The next slide. So we have our mission and vision, which will be read out um, during the launch. So to realize our vision and mission, we believe that locally generated knowledge and solutions are key to solving local and global challenges. And this is the belief of in apps also. So we are working in partnership to strengthen the capacity of members to produce, to share, and to use research and knowledge in support of national development. Our core values reflect our community, our commitment to diversity, inclusion, equity is one of our core values. Gender equity, we are going to ensure that whatever we do, um, gender equity, we focus more on gender equity. And if you can see from the uh, national team, we have more women. So women are taking over. Amen, thank you for supporting us. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> female, female, female researchers do not have the same opportunities like male researchers. So we want to use this hub to create more opportunities for female researchers. We've carried out a lot of researchers and we know it, that female researchers, because of family commitments, many female researchers are not able to meet up. We are not able to meet up because of family commitments. So, and that is the reality. That is the reality. With the support of the male researchers, we will get there. So membership criteria for joining, the next slide. So uh, members have to be Nigerian postgraduate students or postgraduate scholars within or outside Nigeria, be early career researchers in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, 
Uh, members can be established academics who want to give something back to the research community. They can serve as mentors. Uh, members can also have those who have proven track record of active engagement in a tertiary education or an advanced education organization. Uh, members would also participate or support wherever necessary in all activities or events organized by the auto aid research hub. Members are also expected to promote auto aid national research hub Nigeria for effective research collaboration, paper publication and events organization. Members are also expected to share technical knowledge, research evidence and information that will promote the mission of the auto aid national research hub. And members are also expected to act as links to the hub for engagement and more for more members in Nigeria. Currently, we have a WhatsApp group that has been created and we have over 170 people have signed up to be members of the, of the hub. So the benefits to members, like I highlighted before, collaboration for research publication, uh, we know the challenges. A lot of people have the challenge of writing and publishing in high impact journals. So we'll be having capacity building workshop to enhance the capacity of our members to be able to publish in high. High impact journals. Then announce last next slide, please. Grant opportunities will also be announced within the hub and then also uh, upcoming conferences. So we are also going to be having regular online in-person discussion group activities. Um, hopefully in the future, we are going to have institutional coordinators. So that institutional coordinators will be in charge of the in-person discussion groups within the various institutions. So we are going to have, be having webinars, capacity building workshops on relevant topics or opportunities for members to facilitate. So there will be opportunities for members to facilitate different sessions. Those who want to build their capacity, young researchers who want to build their capacity in that. Then uh, we are also going to be having mentorship scheme where we are going to be as with experienced hub members on the auto aid website there is a uh they already have a platform for uh the mentorship scheme so we are going to be uh building on that for nigerian researchers so through the hub also members can increase their research visibility uh, the online journal club was mentioned by dr zainab i'm one of the auto aid coordinators for the online journal club for environmental biology, chemistry, and toxicology. So I volunteer for that and I've been doing that for some years. So those who want to join, because in that journal club, we um, identify new journals in specific areas and critically analyze these journals. Uh, so members also build their capacity in terms of critical thinking and analysis. So for postgraduate students who are interested, you know, for mentors to help them with their thesis, there will also be opportunity for that. And we'll also be having special networking events and also special early career researcher sessions, not limited to postgraduate. So for the mentors, we are also going to have mentors who are not Nigerians, but who are auto aid stewards who will be joining to mentor those who are interested. The leadership of the hub, the next slide. So right now, this is what the leadership of the hub looks like. Um, I'm the uh, national coordinator and um, I've been an auto ACT ward for some time. Apart from coordinating their online journal club, I'm also an in-apps associate. And I also, I've been a guest facilitator of the auto aid online course on research writing. They have, an online course on research writing every year for sciences and social sciences. And a lot of people have benefited from that. I myself have enhanced my capacity 
in terms of research writing, grant proposal writing through that particular uh, MOOC. So uh, members of the research hub in Nigeria will have the opportunity to be part of that. Then we also have Mr. Fortune is a body who is the national secretary, is a body global health researcher, leader and advocate. He's a recipient of numerous awards and co-founder of the African Community for Systemic Reviews and Meta-Analysis. Then we have Dr. Aneyo, who is the Southwest coordinator. She's a lecturer at the Department of Zoology, University of Lagos. She has well-developed qualitative, critical analytical skills with strong capacity to design and conduct research. She has also, ha she also has various, uh, several publications in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, Dr. Orisha Weimi is a public health researcher. She's joining us online. She's in the UK. She works with academia and with non-governmental organization. Um, she, she's a research fellow at the Yorkshire and Humber Quality and Safety Research Group at the Bradford Institute for Health Research, United Kingdom. So she is the national hub for academic. Then we have Dr. Zainab Yunusa Kautungo, who is a plastic surgeon, and uh, she's the Northeast coordinator. She's the former chairperson of the Medical Advisory Committee, Federal Teaching University, Gumbi, in the Northeast Nigeria. She's also an auto HD ward, and she leads wellness with Dr. Zainab. Uh, also in the team is Dr. Yukaria Oluchi Wachi. Uh, she's also a recipient of numerous awards, and the most recent she received um, is the 2022 John Maddox Prize in the UK for Individuals Promoting Science. So she's an associate professor at the University of Port Harcourt, and currently she's the director of exchange and linkage programs of the same university. She's also a founding chair of Organization for Women in Science in the Developing World, OWSD University of Port Harcourt branch, and she's the vice chair of that same chapter. She has published her works in over 90 reputable journals and book chapters. She is the South South coordinator. Um, Dr. Ngozi Osadebe is the Southeast coordinator. She's a deputy librarian at the uh, University of Nigeria, Sukka. She's also an award winning librarian and published over 52 journal articles. Mr. Felix Ayam is the data scientist. He's also an auto aid steward. Uh, he's an accomplished researcher. He's an in South Africa. So you can see that we have cap capable hands to man the affairs of the, of the National Research Hub. And we are open for those who are interested in being institutional coordinators uh, for the various institutions can approach us. Please, the next slide. So you can get involved with the Auto Aid National Research Hub either as a member, as a writer, there's a blog post usually uh, on the auto aid website. So if you have the skills for writing, you can also be involved. You can be involved as a webinar speaker, as a mentor, can be involved as a mentee, facilitator of sessions, and you can also get involved as institutional coordinator. We want institutional coordinator for Yabateg, for University of Lagos. So uh, those who are interested can approach us. You can also join the hub through the link there, bit.ly forward slash AANG membership form. You can join the platform through that. And then for inquiries, you can send a mail to aanationalhub.ng at gmail.com. The next slide. So on the Auto Aid website, we already have a page, Auto Aid Nigeria National Hub. So if you go to that, if you click on that link, it takes you to the page of the National Research Hub and you can get more information about 
the hub. So thank you for listening.